this is Raman Gill. Welcome to another episode of the 10,000 Trades Show, where we are mastering trading and creating excellence through the deliberate practice and analysis of 10,000 Trades. Today, we'll take a look at how to trade a breakout. A lot of times people get caught in taking a breakout trade because it's a fake out and price comes back into the range again. Today, we'll take a look at how to properly identify a breakout trade setup, where to enter a trade when you are trading a breakout, and where to place your stop loss. Most importantly, how to exit a trade with a profit. Here, we'll take a look at how to trade a breakout. This is Euro Pound one hour chart. A breakout trade is one where price has been consolidating sideways and we are looking for price to break out. Now, breakouts can happen in either direction. So it can be a continuation breakout or it can be a reversal breakout. So we have to be very careful and we have to make sure that we wait for the price to show us what direction it wants to break out in. So in this case, we see that price has been a trading between these two levels here for multiple days here for three days price sits in this range and hasn't gone anywhere and on the fourth day here we see that price starts to push higher which it did over here as well but this time instead of turning around at the high of the range it actually breaks out to the upside so in this case, sometimes we can get fake breakouts as well. So we have to wait for the price to actually settle on the other side of our resistance here. So price breaks out and then we look for a pullback. And once we get this bullish candle close here, this is when we are looking for an entry. So either we can take an entry at the top of this candle or we can wait for like 50% pullback and then enter the trade long. So now that price has shown us that it wants to move higher, we are taking a long entry. So this is a bullish breakout. We enter the trade long, our price, our stop goes on the other side of the consolidation here because sometimes price can just come back into the consolidation once again. So we wanna make sure we don't get taken out for that and we will put our stop on the other side of the consolidation. So we stay with the trade as price moves higher, it pulls back into this previous support and resistance area, but then we see that it holds above and then pushes higher. And uh, this time price gives us a big pin bar on the top here, and then it starts to, it tries to push higher once again, cannot break the high and starts to pull back. So this is a sign that we are not likely to see price push up any higher. Good time to exit the trade. From entry to exit here, we get 47 pips in our trade. So just to recap, when taking a breakout, first thing we have to identify is the consolidation or the range that the price is trading in. In this case, price has been going higher, consolidates, and then breaks out. So this is called a continuation breakout. We can also get reversal breakouts. That's why we have to make sure that we wait for price to show us which way it's going to break out. And once we see the price breaking out, we don't take the initial push. We wait for price to pull back and usually it will pull back into the high of the range here. And we want to see that price stays above that level because sometimes it can just fake us out and come back into this consolidation and then possibly even go on the other side. That's why we have to wait for price to stay on the other side of this resistance level here, which then turns into support. So once we see a close of this candle, either we can take a trade at the high or we wait for 50% pullback here, enter the trade long, and we stay with the trade as price moves higher. Here we see that it, we have a pullback, but it holds above the previous support and resistance level. So we can stay with the trade, price pushes higher, a big pin bar, and then we see that price starts to pull back and is not able to break the high. So this way, uh, this is the place where we can exit the trade. From entry to exit here, we get 47 pips in our trade. So our profit is 47 pips or $470 if trading one standard lot. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you would like to see more great trade setups like this, I invite you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That's it for today. I will see you next time.